Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber of Guru. Thank you for watching. So most recently, uh, Joel Telling of 3D Printing Nerd fame has uh, begun a design challenge uh, to create a spool holder uh, for his uh, spool racks that he designed in one of the videos. And I will link the, uh, his video down below, uh, not only the video uh, about the design challenge, but also the video about the, um, the racks that he made and then the update that he uh, did about the design challenge, which spots lights a question that spotlights a question that I actually asked, which was the distance, um, the thickness of the wood. Um, but what I want to do here in this video, real quick, is show you how in three um, Fusion 3D that I modeled the ecosphere that he wants to use to create this design challenge. And um, I'm not going to show you my design right now. I have one complete right now. I'm not happy with it. I have another one in my brain uh, that I want to work on. I, I got to say this weekend, but uh, I got to be honest with you, this weekend's got really crazy because uh, we had some uh, rainstorms and some trees down and we lost our power for about five hours today. So I wasn't able to do a lot of these uh, kind of digital interactions that I want to do this weekend. So, but nevertheless, I got at least one other design I have, not I got, yeah, grammar. You get it. Um, I have at least one other design in my brain that I want to get after. And then I think um, based on that design, I think there's going to be at least one more derivative off of that. Um, I have some um, some uh, I have some ideas. They're going to be good. So, hey, let's cut over to Fusion. I want to show you the ecosphere. I'm not going to show you my design. You'll see some uh, components there. Um, but um, I'm going to post this uh, file, hopefully, somewhere, maybe grab CAD, thing of her, something we'll see. And I'll tag Joel. Maybe he'll tweet it. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. Um, but if you want to use this as the basis of designing your uh, spool holder completely, um, that's, that's what we're shooting for here. I want to make this easy for people. So let's go ahead and cut over. Hi, here we are in Fusion having some issues with my new recording software. What you see in front of you is my template for what Joel has put out in terms of design specifications. What you will see in front of you um, is simply two boards, left or right. I made them 24 inches. Um, his boards are actually much, much longer, if I remember properly, something like 80 inches or whatever. Don't need to model the whole workspace unless you want to. Um, if you do want to do that, you can easily change it with this file. Uh, so what I did is I'm going to walk you through what I've done so far. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn the bodies off. I'm going to turn the sketch on. It's super, super simple. Uh, I created a rectangle. We'll slide that guy out of the way. I created a rectangle, 24 inches long, you can see here. It is uh, three quarters of an inch thick. That is what he said in his video. In his subsequent video, he clarified that the nominal uh, width of these is really more like 708, uh, 0.708. Um, you know, I'm gonna leave it at 7, uh, 0.75. Uh, people can toy with the tolerances and quite frankly, so can Joel, so we'll figure it out. And then I calculated the distance between them is this uh, 4.8976, which is really 124.4 uh, millimeters. Um, that there was a lot of um, kind of gyrations in his uh, model where he had uh, the I, I had to compute this. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, there, there was a lot of measurements in his model, and I computed it as this. Uh, I have a little piece of paper here that I did it on. It doesn't really matter. Um, but the key thing to know here is uh, so I extruded it up uh, the 1.5 uh, inches that he said that the boards were thick, and then I put a little. Uh, you can see I put a little texture on it just to show that they're boards. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, but this gives you the shell for what you're shooting for. This is the front. This is the second edge. I suppose you can make some sort of design that bridges the two. I don't know. The ones that are I am focusing on are really on, only on the first one. Uh, but what I also did is I created these, or I imported these spools. I'll turn them both on here to show you. Um, I, I got these from GrabCAD. I've been using these for years. I use them for my print uh, holder, uh, spool holder that I created for the uh, Prusa Mark II. Uh, the spool holder actually has become fairly popular on Thingiverse. Uh, so it, you know, if you want to um, check that out, maybe I'll link it in a card or put it down in the bottom. It doesn't really matter. But the point being is these are kind of universal spool holders. They are. Uh, the average width uh, and the average diameter, um, there are bigger ones in terms of the hole in the middle and total diameter, and there are thicker ones. These ones should serve as a good point of reference. 
I have put two in the design for a very good reason. Um, he didn't give any um, guidance on how he wanted the spool oriented. So uh, I, in my mind, I'm thinking there's two possible ways to orient this. You have a, a bracket that kind of comes down and sticks out and holds it uh, perpendicular to the work area, which is the, the boards here, or you have one that's kind of parallel to it. So I put two spools in the design uh, to allow people to iterate on these. Uh, you can um, move them around however you see fit. Uh, there's no big deal here. This one I've kind of, uh, let me do it on the front here. I've kind of put it kind of lower to the bottom and then this one I kind of put parallel um, or kind of uh, in line to the middle. Uh, again, move them around however you want to see fit. It's your design. You do whatever you want. This is just a framework for you. Uh, so in the design itself, I actually have created a, a bunch of different components. The spool holder, uh, you can see the kind of the outline of what I'm thinking about right now, um, the wood, and then the spools. Uh, so put your spool holder design in the spool holder component by um, activating by clicking this button here and say activate component it will activate that and you do all your design work in there i will delete all of the uh, kind of uh, ash and trash of my design uh, other than just the, the the principles which is the wood and the spool holders or the spools uh, in the file that i upload so um, let's switch back over to the primary camera Okay, so there you have it. Uh, the design is very straightforward in my mind. Um, obviously, it might be a little uh, a little complex for people who don't have any experience with Fusion 360, but that's okay. Fusion 360 is super easy to use. There's plenty of videos out there and plenty of tutorials. Uh, so all you need to do is do um, what is known as design in place. You take the wood, you take the the spool, the spools, you design around them. Um, and then you have your final part and you can turn it into something that's 3D printable. Uh, so that's amazing. I already have a couple, like I said, I already have one that's designed in there. Um, I have one in my reign and at least uh, probably one more variant that I think that I might be able to pull off, who knows. Uh, the key thing here is printing something or designing something that is printable and printable with strength. Um, so uh, I just wanna warn everyone, uh, be careful about uh, printing things that are long that are printed this uh, vertically um, because it's going to print in a spiral pattern um, and then when you turn it this way they will crack very easily i know this i've done this i've i've lived this story i have the tattoo uh, don't do it that way uh, so if you want to print something that's long uh, designed so that it can be printed this way so that the the print actually goes around this way and creates some strength with some tangential force there. So uh, that's all I have to say. I hope you like this video. I hope that people found it useful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up as always. Hey, you know, if you don't like it, thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. Important these days. Maybe even ring that bell if you want to hear from me. All right, let's get on with it. Hope to see everyone in a good day. We'll see you soon. Thanks.